Farscape Engineers inspect the summary video. Here we are on this Farscape. The biggest issue with this Farscape, Mass Building Code 1001.3 states, Farscape must be structured, style must be kept painted. Right now the Farscape has been kept painted most of its time, lifetime, but it's not structurally sound. We have some issues here that we're going to discuss, and uh, I'll point those out as we go through. So, first thing we have as a problem on this Farscape, this has to be a uh, crash bar. You can't have these slide bolts. When they get painted and they get welded, you can't open these up anymore, so you can't have this. This door needs some reinforcement because some of this door is already rotting away, and a lot of these tubes rot away like they're doing right here. So we've got to get that taken care of. A lot of the treads, they're rotting from the top now. They're rotting all the welds, so you got to clean all these out, and then you got to silicone shut so the water stops getting in there and eating up your bolts underneath. Otherwise, you let it keep going. It's going to eat the stringer and the bolt underneath in the future. So you got to clean this all out. A lot of these angles are welded, and what happens is as the rust gets in there, it builds it up, and it pops, just like it's going on right here. See that rust growing on the right side? See the rust growing, and it's going to force it right out. So now we've got to clean that out, and even though there's a bolt hole here, they haven't bolted it, so they should. That's the same concern we have that is happening at this rusty area, is happening rusty here, that's happening at that well down there, and it's happening at that well back there. That's why we want to put a bolt in it and we want to seal it with 50 year silicone because I don't want to have to concern myself with an x-ray or a load test on these brackets. Pop a bolt, we're done. Okay, so as you can see, some of this fire escape has got a bolt. I'm not concerned about this bolt, it's a fairly new bolt. But whenever there's a weld, I'm always concerned about weld. You've got to seal these things up against the building so the water doesn't get back in there and push this fire escape out. Stop the, the, the leaves, they, as they fall apart, and they create debris that sits there on the, on, on the fire escape. That's what accumulates and eats up the sides of these fire escapes. Welded connection. Welded connection with rust building up inside. Welded connection with no rust inside. Well, which one is good, which one is bad? Doesn't matter. I won't sign off on a weld. I want a disclaimer because I don't trust welds. It's a million dollar problem. So, but this bracket needs a, a bolt, that bracket needs a bolt, and then we have a certification, not an affidavit with a disclaimer letter of liability. Connections. Connections. Put a bolt here, this gets certified. So as you can see, there's a little mix of bolts here and there on this one, and this fire escape is a combination, but she definitely needs some maintenance uh, to keep the treads from accumulating any more rust and eating. The welded brackets need a bolt, the cage needs reinforcement, and you need a push bar, and then we can certify this fire escape. Any questions, fire escape engineers? Inspect the summary video, 866-649-0333. 866-649-0333.